Hi guys, I'm going to check new Total War Warhammer trailer, which is I believe their pre-release trailer aimed at the gamers who are unfamiliar with the game and this is probably going to be a very hypey trailer, so let's get going. I'm already really hyped for the game. Sega. So. Enter a world of legendary heroes, mythical locations, and monstrous creatures. A world where reality itself ripples in storms of magical Shh. power, and thousands strong legions no. of warriors clash in wars without end. Choose a race and a legendary lord to lead your campaign. Each is unique, bringing with them their own challenges, strengths, traits, and skills. Total War oh, look at the map, man. What the? is a game of two different but connected game modes. The first takes place on the turn-based Grand Campaign map, where you must plan and execute strategies for survival and conquest. The second comes into play when armies clash on the campaign map and you have the chance to command your troops in breathtaking real time Holy battles. Shit. On the campaign I, map, hype is you real. Must capture and manage <laughs> settlements or choose to burn them to the ground. Holy shit. Engage in statecraft and diplomacy, bringing with intrigue and tactical depth. Maneuver armies as Who's you see fit. And Who's command bombs, man? Who's heroes bombs? to help through sabotage, assassination attempts, and much more besides. These heroes from the campaign map can also join you in battle, lending their special abilities to the fight. To unlock the full potential of both your lords That's the same and politics heroes from Total on War and off Tiller. the battlefield. Level them up, send them on quests and maximize the skills and spells at their disposal. With separate personal, campaign, and battle skill trees, you can really Holy customize shit. your characters, and even rename them too. Opportunities for war are countless, whether Man. it's surrounding and besieging your oh, look at this shit. intercepting oh. the enemy underground, or engaging them in tight no way, night battles night across night mythical assault. lands. With magic, colossal what? beasts, steam spewing war machines, and a staggering array of tactical oh. options at your disposal. Look Total at the carriage. War, Warhammer offers thousands of hours of strategy gameplay. No. This is a world of eternal war and fleeting glory. This is a world whose fate, be it damnation or salvation, yeah. is yours to decide. Come on. This only is seven days. War, Warhammer. Holy shit! There's some amazing footage here. I'm gonna try to head back and check some. Right, the map is fantastic looking. Obviously, this is not gonna how it's not gonna be how you look at it. This is a cinematic pan view. You're gonna be looking at it more of a top down. I wish you could could look at it this way. F bloody fantastic. I wonder the kind of hardware they're running. It looks a bit touched up. If you look at the gameplay videos they've been showing, this has way more uh, sort of effects laid on it. It's dynamic fog. And the lightning seems much better than the gameplay videos that then they've been posting. Yeah, th this footage is just... it looks totally different from what they've showed before. So much uh, battle smoke going on. I mean, it looks like even like um, a morning dust or dusk. Uh, you can barely see the horizon here. It looks amazing, but it doesn't look anything like uh, the, they've posted before. Just 
so much detail. These are actually looking as good as the screenshots they've released in the beginning. I'm not surprised this is a hype trailer. I really hope though you can make the game look like this. Look at this shit. Oh man, it's so good. Winds of magic. Oh, we have night assault. There was a, another foot, a piece of footage before. You have ghost warriors. Your vampire counts. There you go, building. So it's the same regional sort of aspect of the game. If you have all the cities in your region, you will have uh, extra perks you can enable. Uh, there you go, it's province effects. Probably uh, the, the more cities you have in your region, the more provincial effects you will enable. Corruption, that's really nice. So you have all your basics easily access accept, uh, accessible in the left corner here. Turn this into a Okay. Right, so you have uh, your options here. Occupy, loot and occupy. Second rate. Well, I think this is all standard, right? Okay, so he, he chose raids, and as he raises the settlement. The ground in the territory is going is going to get burned to ashes, and he he will loot. Uh, so loot. He got loot out of it. He got ability, potion of speed. Right. So it's unclear whether it, this is an item or um, sort of character ability. Right, so the diplomacy menu looks pretty much the same as Antilla. This has been a slow progression. In all Total War games, they've continuously added on the diplomacy menu. I think the first real advance came with Empire and possibly Napoleon. So, mi trade agreements, military access, defensive alliance, military alliance, joint, joint confederation. I believe this is a new option. It could be the same as being a vassal in previous games, but I'm not sure. Sounds great though. I mean, if you have a bunch of human nations and you can sort of make a confederation of humans instead of conquering them. Right, right, so there's enough really good options here. Let's just hope the AI takes full advantage and it actually works. Okay, so did he offer money? Okay, so you can you can actually see when you when you have a trade agreement, you can actually see the benefit. So your offers. Okay, so you're offering them the benefit of 161 gold per period of time, I suppose, one day, or whatever it is in game. 
one month or and you're getting 81 gold what I think you're, you'll be getting 81 gold and you're offering so it's it's for their benefit to to have the trade enabled so they accept it that's how I understand it I haven't played Attila in months now I really want to but time constraints damage building all right hero actions okay let's okay so this is probably an agent trying to do something with the city so you pick um, important structure within the city it's probably castle the, the, the port castle gates and I guess it's a uh, barracks and then the action is damage the building Uh, the hero is probably going to be acting the same as the spice used to act in previous games. I guess this is the same hero. Okay, hero activity. Successfully wounded. Okay, so it's, so it's, uh, it's not a, it's an attempt of assassination, and, but. I mean, it's wounded. What does it mean? I guess the heroes are unable to die, so when it's taken out of combat, uh, maybe it will respawn in your city. But it's not completely dead, dead I, I guess. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be so fucking great if you, like, you're about to win the campaign and there's a, a lucky. A hero attacks your main guy, uh, you know, the king, and kills him. Just like totally random. Okay, so you have a um, faction leader. Well, it's not the main leader, but one of the wizards leading an army. Musketeers. Right, so this is the, the, the normal politic tree from uh, from Attila, I suppose. You can assign your officers. So obviously Karl Franz is always going to be emperor, I guess. Until the campaign changes, I guess. I don't know. And then you can assign everyone under him. The left and right hand and all the ministers. And Okay, so we have a... Uh, character trait so it's this whole character stats sheet I suppose I wonder if the yellow bar indicates the base and the green is your uh, current upgrades or okay so you can compare when you when you highlight your mouse cursor over a new unlock new ability you can see how much your character will change okay this is great this is really great okay characters attacking something not sure what again character stats oh you can dress up your character you can have armor and weapon wow even the mount? No way, no way. I don't think this is going to be like Diablo though, I don't think it's gonna be often that you change the... But I could be wrong, I mean... Let's hope I'm wrong and they will deliver... something unexpected. Positive though. so many stats so many stats it's going to be so deep if they deliver it's amazing yes this is uh i believe then the, the night assault it really looks like a night time 
or it could be like a storm. It looks so amazing. What happens during night is obviously all the fire effects, they are more prominent. So things are getting lit up. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's the night assault. Fuck. This is so sexy. I hope I can make it look like this on my uh, Titan X. But it just looks unreal. I mean, obviously the camera work is cinematic and you're not gonna have that in the game. Not in every match you play, so... But I hope it looks like that when you zoom in. And look at all the detail. Fucking hell. Guys, the hi hype train is really, really hard with this one. And I mean sexy hard. Just please deliver, you know. Don't turn up with a, like, limp. Right, well, thank you for watching, and see you next time.